easy pose. So one ankle in front of the other or cross-legged, or you can kneel. And since you're at home, if you want to sit up on top of a pillow or a blanket, sometimes that makes it a lot easier for your hips to open up. So especially for guys, if you have tight hips, I recommend sitting up on top of something that will just allow you to sit up a little bit taller without feeling like you're gonna fall over and roll backwards. So take a moment to settle in. Maybe roll your shoulders out. Maybe roll your head from side to side a couple times. And then as you're ready, just find stillness in your seat. You can rest your hands in your lap, hands can come to your heart, or if you want, one hand to your heart space, one hand to your belly. Close your eyes and let's just start with three great, big, huge cleansing breaths. So next time you inhale, fill up as big as you can. See if you can even sit up just a little bit taller, hold in fullness. And then exhale, open mouth side to release. <sighs> Two more times, just like that. Inhale, fill up. Hold at the top. Sip in that little bit more, keep holding. And exhale, big sigh, let it go. <sighs> and then the last one, so biggest inhale of your day so far. Hold. And then anything you've brought with you to class, any stress, anxiety, any heaviness, just big, huge exhale, breathe it out, let it go. <sighs> Seal your lips gently now and start to cultivate your ujjayi breath. So in and out through your nose with a gentle constriction in the back of your throat. So see if you can really take your inhales all the way down into your low belly and your low back. Take your exhales all the way to the very, very bottom, all the way to emptiness. So if nothing else from this practice today, I just want you to bring some extra oxygen into your body and clear out any of that stale air. Just think of getting all the little cobwebs out. So really use your breath, fire it up. And then when you feel like you've kind of connected to your own internal rhythm, Keep your breath moving and flowing and just transition forward onto your hands and your knees, tabletop position. So if you were sitting up on top of something, you can set it off to the side. And then once you're in your tabletop, just take a few rounds of cat-cow. So inhale to arch your spine, lift the crown of your head, lift your tailbone, and then exhale to round and curl in. So chin to chest, belly button draws in and up. Just back and forth through those two movements and make these movements as big and as exaggerated as possible. So rather than thinking of just lifting your head and lifting your butt, see if you can really feel that mobility through your spine. As you curl in, even think of pushing the ground forward and down and see if you can round your back just a little bit more than usual. So rather than just going through these cat-cow movements mindlessly, Really tune in, maybe close your eyes, put your awareness in your spine, and then move with lots and lots of intention. So you're not just kind of out of habit, just going through the motions, you're really present. And then finish the round you're on. Come back to a neutral spine position. So just regular hands and knees. Bring your knees out slightly wider than your hips. And on an in-breath, take your right arm out to the right, reach it all the way up to the sky. And as you exhale, thread your right arm underneath you. So reach through as far as you can. Come down to rest on the outside of your shoulder and the outside of your head. And you can do whatever you want with your left arm and your left leg. So I like to take my left hand forward, lift to my fingertips, and really press down with my fingertips and then kind of gaze underneath my left armpit. You can wrap your left arm behind your back. You can kickstand your left leg. Lots of options. Go wherever you want to go and take about three more deep breaths. Good. 
job, you guys. And then if you do happen to have your left hand or your left knee lifted off the ground, bring them both back to the earth. Next time you breathe in, unthread your right arm, reach it all the way up to the sky. Hold here for an extra breath. Press down through your left hand and see if you can reach your right fingertips even higher, open up even more. And then end of your exhale, set your right hand down. And we'll take downward facing dog in between sides. So spread your fingers nice and wide, tuck your toes, lift your knees, lift your hips. Take a moment to just stretch into your down dog. So really lengthen from your fingertips up to your sit bones. Maybe walk it out, maybe bend both knees a lot and then straighten both legs. Perhaps you lift up onto your tiptoes and then rock back, pressing your heels towards the ground. So lots of ways you can just feel into this posture. And then check back in with your breath. Make sure it's still there. It's still big and spacious and it's still supporting you. So you don't want to feel like your breath is taking away from your practice. You want to feel like your breath is allowing you to go deeper. It's keeping you in this present moment right here, right now. And then as you breathe in, you're creating space inside your body. As you exhale, you're plugging into your intrinsic strength. You're drawing your belly button in and up towards your spine and finding your connection to center. Take one more great big, huge full body breath. See if you can find a little more length. And then end of your exhalation, just gently set your knees back down on the ground so you're back in a tabletop position, knees a little bit wider than hips. Let's take the other side. So inhale, left arm out to the left, all the way up, gaze up, and exhale, thread your left arm through. So reach through as far as you can, then come down to rest. And just like you did on the other side, you can take any variation you want. So you might go exactly where you did on the right side, or maybe this side feels different and you want to explore it in a different way. So there's no right or wrong necessarily. Tune into your body and then listen to your breath. See if you can feel your inhales expand into your upper back, mid back, and low back. And then every time you exhale, Feel your navel draw in and up towards your spine. Find that connection to center and from that place, go a little bit deeper. Take about three more rounds. Good job, you guys. If you happen to have your right hand or your right knee lifted, bring them back to the earth. And then next time you inhale, unthread your left arm, reach it up, gaze up, hold here, extra round of breath. So press your right hand down, reach, 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 open up, end of your exhale, left hand to the ground. And then downward facing dog, take it back. This time option in your down dog. This will be a little more intense, so you don't have to do it unless you want to. Option to turn it into a turbo dog. So you'll bend your elbows a lot and then squeeze your elbows in towards each other. So your forearms are hovering just an inch or so above the ground. Continue to lift your sit bones really high. Imagine there's a string attached to your belly button and it's pulling up and it's tugging back. Keep bending your elbows and hugging them in towards each other. Now, where is your breath? Can you feel it? Can you make it even bigger and more powerful? Take one more inhale, lift your hips higher. Exhale, look forward, empty out first, step, tiptoe, or hop top of your yoga mat, forward fold. Pause here for a moment. Make sure all 10 toes are facing directly forward, feet about hips with distance apart. Grab opposite elbows for ragdoll. So let your upper body just be heavy, especially your head. You can sway from side to side, or maybe bob a little bit up and down. Try not to rock back into your heels. So keep your weight just slightly forward so it's like you're pressing down into your tiptoes and the balls of your feet, and then really lift your sit bones up high towards the sky. Take a couple more deep breaths. Good job, my friends. End of your next exhalation, release your elbows, and then slow as you can go, one vertebra at a time, roll up to stand. 
So really, really take it slow. And then once you're standing, you're actually gonna roll back down. So take a moment to stack your head, to roll your shoulders back and down, and then chin towards your chest, and roll all the way back down. So keep going up and down, spinal roll up, spinal roll downs, with your own breath at your own pace. As you roll up and down, try as much as you can to keep your weight slightly forward. Don't rock back into your heels. Really feel into your spine and think of moving one vertebra at a time. I like to imagine my spine as a string of pearls and it's just unfurling one pearl at a time. So keep going, keep moving, and eventually end up standing at the top of your yoga mat in mountain pose with your arms down by your sides. No rush to get there. <clears throat> so eventually, you're standing at the top of your mat. Your palms are facing forward. They're open. Your shoulders are open. So think of broadening through your collarbones and stand with lots of awareness. Don't slump or slouch. Don't stick your butt out or sink into your hips. Nice and neutral through your pelvis, little tone through your belly. So just in this simple standing position, how much awareness can you bring in? How much intention can you create in your mountain pose? Stay as you are, breathe in as big as you can and hold at the top. Think of growing even taller from your feet all the way up to the crown of your head. Exhale, open mouth, sigh, let it go. Ujjayi breath. Inhale, reach up, stretch. Exhale, let, let your heart guide you all the way down. Slow swan dive, forward fold. With your inhale, spinal extension, so lots of length. Exhale, refold. Now this time, reverse swan dive to stand. So a little bend in your knees, lead with your heart. See if you can hug your back muscles around your spine as you lift. Inhale, reach. Exhale, hands to heart center. And let's do one more round just like that. Inhale, high mountain, stretch tall. Exhale, follow your breath down nice and easy, ever so slowly. Inhale, halfway lift. Get all the rounding out of your spine. Exhale, fold. Root through your feet and take it back up. Reverse swan dive. Inhale, high mountain. Exhale, hands to heart. All right, inhale, high mountain, reach. And then as you exhale, you're gonna step your left foot off the left side of your mat and then bend your knees, reach your arms forward and your butt back. Think of plugging your shoulders into the socket. So pull your shoulder blades back and down. Draw your belly button towards your spine. Weight is back in your heels now so you can get a little bit lower in your legs. Take one more full round. Inhale, come back to center, reach up and stretch. Exhale, other side, so right foot steps to the right. Bend your knees, butt reaches back as your arms reach forward. Try not to round your spine. So pull your shoulders back and down. Draw your belly button in and up, weight in your heels. Sit down a little lower, one more round. Inhale, high mountain, stretch tall. And exhale, hands behind your back as if you're about to put them into your back pockets. So either fingers face down, or you can wrap your fingers around your waist, thumbs face in, or even make fists with your hands. Roll your shoulders back and down. Elbow tips point straight back behind you. Hug in with your inner thighs. Now start to lift your chest up towards your chin, and then start to take your throat back as you press your hands forward into your hips, but then press your hips back into your hands so you get a little tone through your low belly. Breathe into the front of your heart. See if you can keep strength in the sides of your neck. One more big deep breath. Lead with your heart, come back up. Reach your arms up, inhale. Exhale, slow swan dive. Halfway lift, inhale. 
Exhale, fold this time, plant your hands, step back to plank. Inhale at the top of your push up, and you can come to your knees if you want. Exhale, strong arms, strong belly, lower down. Inhale, baby cobra or full cobra. So lift your chest just as high as feels right to you. Keep your shoulders back and down. Keep pointing your elbows straight back behind you. Exhale, release. And then we'll take Spider-Man Cobra. So hands out wide, lift to your fingertips, elbows face the sky, lift your chest. Take a big, huge inhale here. Exhale, release. Bring your hands to frame your mid ribs, press up to tabletop, hands and knees. All right, so this is a little bit different today. You're gonna crawl your hands back towards your knees and then lift your upper body all the way upright so you're in a extended kneeling position. All right, so you're kneeling. Your knees are about hips width distance apart. Extend your left leg out to the left so it's straight. And I'll face you guys just so you can see what's going on. So I'll mirror you. Left leg out to the left. <laughs> All right, so left toes face directly forward. And then if it feels like your butt sticking out behind you, try to press your hips slightly forward. Take your arms to the sky, big inhale. And then as you exhale, left hand down to your left leg, slide your left hand down your left leg, and then reach your right arm up and over. Big deep breaths here. If you're doing the opposite side, that's fine. Just make sure you get the other side next time. It's confusing because I never know if I'm supposed to mirror you when I'm on a computer or if it mirrors, if it mirrors for me. So breathe down whatever side you're stretching, lengthen it, expand with each breath. Take a couple more rounds. And then next time you inhale, come back up. Reach your arms up, both knees on the ground, and just switch sides. So now your right leg extends out to the right, or if you did right before, do left this time. So big inhale to stretch. Exhale, bring your hand down to your leg. Reach up and over. So big side body stretch. Whatever side you're stretching now, just send your breath there. Really lengthen. Try to keep pressing your hips slightly forward rather than sticking your butt out behind you. Couple more rounds. And then next time you inhale, rise back up, reach back up, set both knees on the ground. We're gonna set up for camel pose. So hands behind your back, just like we did a moment ago when we were standing. Roll your shoulders back and down, point your elbows straight back behind you. I like my toes tucked under to stabilize my shins. Start to lift your chest up towards your chin and then take your throat back. Press your hands forward into your hips, press your hips back into your hands. Keep breathing if it is available to you and if it is available to you only, reach back to grab hold of your heels. Keep lifting your heart, keep opening, keep breathing down into your belly. Squeeze in with your inner thighs. Take about two more breaths. You guys are doing awesome. If you're grabbing your heels, hands to your low back, lead with your heart to rise, and then bring your hands to the ground in front of you. Puppy pose. So you're gonna leave your hips right over your knees and walk your hands forward. Find a neutral spine first. And then after you've taken a couple breaths in your puppy pose with a neutral spine, sit all the way back into a child's pose. So hips towards your heels, forehead rest down on your mat. Breathe into your low back. Good job, my friends. And then we'll meet in downward facing dog in your next couple of breaths. Get a drink really fast. 
All right. So down dog. Inhale, take your right leg to the sky. Exhale, step your right foot to the top of your yoga mat. Bring your back knee gently down. And then we're going to stretch our front hamstring. So reach your hips back towards your back heel, your back toes tucked under, and then straighten your front leg. You can, if you don't like this, so this is kind of toe death for your left foot. It's good for your left foot, but if it feels like too much, you can take your front foot forward a little bit more and then keep your hips over your back knee instead. Flex your front toes, those right toes flex back towards your shin, and then press your heel down and energetically imagine you're trying to pull your heel back towards your body. You can stay really nice and upright, or you can work with folding belly, ribs, then chest closer to your front leg. Take about three more breaths. If you want, you can reach one or both hands up to grab your right foot or your right shin. I like to leave my right hand on the ground and then reach with my left hand. It's up to you. Big Buddha belly breath. So feel your belly expand and contract. Take one more round, and then end of your exhale, come forward again to a lunge position. Bring your hands to the inside of your right foot, walk your right foot forward, and also out to the right edge of your mat. Now, start to slowly lower your upper body closer to the earth without leaning over to the left. So you want to lean more to the right. If your front knee comes forward of your ankle, then scoot your front foot further forward. You might spin your right toes out to the right, and you might even roll onto the outer edge of your right foot. So lower your torso towards the ground without just collapsing to the left side. Take about four or five deep breaths here. You can exhale out your mouth anytime. Last couple of rounds. And then slowly start to lift back up onto your hands. Walk your right foot back to midline. So you want to frame your right foot. Tuck your back toes, lift your back knee up. Standing splits. So right leg stays rooted, left leg lifts. Spread through your left toes. Think of this as just a one-legged forward fold. So weight slightly forward in your right foot. Your hands are there to help with balance. Let your neck relax. If you want more, wrap your right arm behind your right leg. Big belly breaths. Imagine there's a string attached to your belly button pulling up. So use the strength in your core rather than just using the strength in your legs. It'll make it easier if you can figure out how. Take one more big inhale. Now listen, exhale, left knee to your nose. So curl in and around your spine. Inhale, re-extend your left leg. And then exhale, low lunge. Step your left foot to the back of your mat. We're going to take it into a wide-legged forward fold. So walk your hands all the way over the left side of your mat. Parallel your feet, straighten out both legs. Inhale to a halfway lift. Exhale, fold. You've got about five breaths. You can do anything you want. Maybe grab hold of your ankles, maybe the outer edges of your feet. You can move if headstand is in your practice or if you want to twist, go for it. Try not to rock back into your heels here either. So always in our forward folds, we want, we want to avoid just rocking back. We want to keep our weight slightly forward and think of lifting our sit bones really high towards the sky. Keep those big deep breaths going. We 
next time you breathe in again find that halfway lift fingertips can stay on the ground crawl your hands to the top of your mat rotate your toes to face forward and then just step forward forward fold inhale halfway lift spinal extension exhale fold root through your feet rise all the way up inhale take your arms up stretch exhale hands to heart all right inhale take your arms to the sky stay rooted through your right foot and float your left knee up into space and then tree pose with your left leg so sole of your left foot either to your right inner thigh or to the inside of your shin or inside of your ankle try not to place your foot right on your knee stand up as tall as you can and press your leg into your foot your foot back into your leg reach your arms as high as you can if you want to play with your balance bring a little bit of movement into your upper body take about three more breaths try not to stick your butt out behind you try not to sink into your right hip Hug towards midline and then reach up high. Breathe big. Now, without setting your left foot down, release your foot from your leg and turn your knee to face directly forward. Option to extend your left leg forward. Try not to lean back. Take one more inhale. Exhale, set your left foot on the ground and dive down forward fold. Halfway lift as you breathe in. Exhale, fold, plant your hands, step back to plank. Come to your knees if you'd like. Inhale at the top. Exhale to slowly lower. Inhale, baby cobra or full cobra. Shoulders back and down. Exhale, let it go. Spider Man cobra. So hands out wide. You're up on your fingertips. Inhale, lift. Keep your shoulders down, exhale, release. Hands frame your mid ribs, press up to tabletop position. All right, so this time from our tabletop, we're gonna pivot on our right knee so our right foot comes to the outside of our mat, left leg extends back, left arm reaches up, modified side plank. So this can be your pose, this can be where you stay. Option to float your left leg up and reach your left arm forward. This can be where you stay. Final option, bend your left knee, reach back, grab hold of your left foot, kick foot into hand, pull hand back into foot, and turn your heart to look up at the sky. Give yourself about two or three more deep breaths wherever you're at your fullest expression. Good work, ever so slowly release, unwind. We're gonna take it straight over to the other side. So pivot on your left knee, left foot comes out behind you, right leg extends back, right arm reaches up. Maybe you float your right foot up, maybe you reach your right arm forward. You can stay where you're at or final option, bend your right knee, reach back, grab hold. So finding the back bend again. Curl open, heart looks up towards the ceiling or towards the sky. Try to spread your right toes as you hold your foot in your hand. Take about two more big deep breaths to work your pose. Keep a little micro bend in your left elbow. Good job, very end of your next exhale. Slowly let it go, unwind back to hands and knees. And then sit back into a child's pose. I like to bring my knees out wide, big toes touch behind me, hips back towards my heels. It might feel good also to reach your hands back towards your heels or even grab hold if it's available. It also might feel good to just turn your palms up to face the sky. Breathe down into your low back. And then in your next couple of breaths or so, downward facing dog. Reconnect to your breath if you've lost it. So big expansive inhales, 
long, strong exhales. Next time you breathe in, take your left leg to the sky. Exhale, step your left foot all the way through top of your yoga mat. Bring your back knee down gently. And we'll take our hamstring stretch, half splits. So I'm gonna leave my back toes tucked under and then sit my hips back onto my right heel, straighten out my left leg. If that does not work for your back foot, it's good, it's a good stretch for your back foot, but for some people it's too much. So you can keep your hips lined up over your back knee. Walk your front foot forward a little bit. Flex your left toes towards your left shin. Pull your left hip back. So you wanna make sure your hips stay square. Press your left heel down and energetically, imagine you're trying to pull your heel towards your body as well. You can stay nice and upright or work with folding forward. Think of lengthening forward, leading with your heart. And I'm gonna bring my right hand to the outside of my left foot, just an option. Big deep breaths. Take your last couple of rounds. And then end of your next exhalation, come forward into a lunge position again. Hands to the inside of your left foot. Walk your left foot out to the left and then a little bit forward. Now start to lower your upper body down, your torso towards the ground, but don't lean over to the right. So as soon as you lean to the right, the pose just collapses. You're not really stretching anything. So think of pushing your weight slightly over to the left, slightly forward. You don't want your left knee coming um, forward of your ankle. So if that happens, then you wanna walk your left foot towards the top of your mat a little bit more. Breathe. You might spin your left toes out to the left or roll onto the baby toe edge of your left foot last couple rounds. Exhale out your mouth if you want to. And then lift back up to your hands. Walk your left foot back to midline so you're framing it. Lift your back knee up standing split so right leg floats one legged forward fold forehead towards your left shin right leg strong spread through your right toes option to wrap your left arm behind your left leg make it a little more intense practice or play with your balance imagine that string pulling up on your belly button soften your face unclench your jaw Take just one more big inhale. See if you can reach your right leg a little higher. Exhale, right knee to your nose. So round and curl in. Inhale, re-extend. And then exhale, lunge. Step your right toes to the back of your mat. Wide-legged forward fold. Hands over to the right, the long right side of your mat. Parallel your feet. Straighten out your legs. Inhale to a halfway lift. And exhale, either fold or go anywhere you want to go with this posture for about five deep breaths. So rather than checking out, check in. What does your body feel? How is your breath flowing? Or can you just be fully present to this moment, even if it's uncomfortable? Last couple of rounds, you can exhale out your mouth if you'd like. And then inhale, spinal extension, fingertips on the ground. Crawl your hands to the top of your mat, rotate your toes to face forward, and then just step your back foot forward, forward fold. 
halfway lift, breathe in. Exhale, bow, fold in. Root through your feet and rise all the way up. Inhale, stretch, reach, gaze up. Exhale, hands to your heart. All right, inhale, take your arms to the sky. Pause here. Left foot stays grounded, right knee floats up. Find your balance and then move into your tree pose. So take the sole of your right foot, either to your left inner thigh, if that's too much, then the inside of your shin or the inside of your ankle is perfectly fine. So I always kind of have to use my hands to help place my foot, that's fine. Press your foot into your leg, your leg back into your foot. Reach up as high as you can and lengthen. If you wanna play with your balance, bring a little movement into your upper body. Take about three more deep breaths. If you fall out, no big deal. Try not to stick your butt out behind you. And then keep your, let's see, your right foot floating and lifted, but release it from your leg and spin your right knee to face directly forward, standing step. Maybe extend your right foot forward, try not to lean back, Stand up taller, one more big inhale. Exhale, set your right foot down and slowly dive down forward, fold. Halfway lift, breathe in. Exhale, plant your palms, step back to plank. Inhale at the top of your push-up. Exhale to slowly lower. So now you're on your belly, and this time stay there for a moment. We're gonna take shoulder pigeon. So start with your left arm out to the left, palm face down, turn your head to the right, and then roll over onto your left side body. So you wanna make your, sure your left hand is even with your shoulder or even a little bit higher than your shoulder. If this bothers your low back at all, then take fetal position with your legs. If you wanna add a little bit, you might Take hand to big toe pose with your right peace fingers around your right big toe, and then extend your right leg up towards the sky. Just an option. There's other places you can go, so whatever works best for you, and you've got about five more breaths here. Okay, my friends, end of your next exhale, slowly release and switch to the other side. So nice and easy, roll back onto your belly, reach your right arm out to the right, turn your head to the left, and roll up onto your right side body. Make sure your right palm faces down and your hand is either even with your shoulder or a little bit higher than your shoulder. If you want, hand to big toe pose with your left leg. Big deep breaths. Last couple of rounds on this side. And then slowly ease your way back onto your belly. Bring your forehead to your mat. Bring your hands to your low back and interlace your fingers. Before anything else lifts, just think of lifting your shoulders up away from the ground. So squeeze your shoulder blades towards your spine and then see if you can lift your hands up away from your low back, so towards the sky. Exhale all your air out 
an inhale, lift everything. So chest lifts, legs lift, hands lift. Hug in with your inner thighs. Keep the back of your neck long, so gaze slightly down. Breathe into your belly, keep lifting, keep breathing. Soften your face, give it one more deep breath, lift, lift, lift. And of your exhale, let it go. You can rest your head to either side and just windshield wiper your shins. And then when you're ready, take it back into a child's pose for a moment. So hips back towards your heels, forehead rest down on your mat, breathe into your low back. Just kind of check the time for. Reconnect to your breath if you've lost it. And then in your next couple of rounds, downward facing dog. Inhale your right leg to the sky. This time, open up your right hip. So bend your right knee, squeeze your outer right butt cheek, and think of stacking your right hip on top of left. You can stay right here. If you want to flip your dog, you're more than welcome to. So just an option. Don't feel like you have to take it. If you're holding in that three-legged dog position, just be there and breathe. Work the pose with your breath. If you're in the back bend, come back. Three-legged down dog, everybody. Inhale to extend your right leg super high. And then exhale, pigeon pose. Right shin to the top of your mat. Set your body down gently. So you want your right knee towards the long edge, the right edge of your mat. And then pull your right hip back, your left hip forward. So your hips lift a little bit rather than feeling like you're pushing your hips down. You're lifting them up. You're hugging in towards midline. You want to keep that and then slowly begin your bow forward into Humble Pigeon. There's a different variation of this pose that you'd rather take than feel free. And slow, steady, ujjayi breaths. So see if you can breathe even bigger than you've been breathing this entire class. And exhale out your mouth at any time. Take about three more rounds. Slowly begin to lift your upper body. And then just nice and easy, sit over onto your right butt cheek, swing your left leg around so you're in a seat. And you're going to keep your right knee bent, sole of your right foot to your left inner thigh. So just like tree pose, but now we're sitting on the ground. Square your hips towards your extended leg, flex your left toes back, and make sure your toes face straight up towards the ceiling. If it is hard to sit up tall, take your fingertips back behind you and think of using your arms as a lever to press your chest forward and up. Stay here if this is difficult. Otherwise, arms reach up, inhale, and then lead with your heart. Exhale, dive forward and down. Your hands can reach to grab wherever they can. So maybe foot, ankle, shin. I like to bring my right hand to the outside of my left foot and kind of use that as leverage to keep my torso nice and square, my chest nice and square towards the ground. Sometimes I even like to bring my left fingertips back behind me, use that as leverage to propel my upper body forward. 
Keep your left toes flexed. Keep pressing your right foot into your leg, your leg back into your foot. Take about three more deep breaths. Good job, you guys. Next time you exhale, take it all the way to empty and see if you can fold a little bit further. And then inhale, rise up, reach your arms up. Exhale, bring your right hand down behind you. Fingers spread wide. Press your right hand down, lift your hips up, reach your left arm back, maybe even rotate your heart to look up at the sky. Breathe. Good, one more big deep breath, maybe exhale out your mouth. And then bring your sit bones down. Boat pose for just a moment. So you're gonna lean back onto your sit bones, float your feet up, try to keep your spine nice and long, hug in with your inner thighs, pull your belly button down and back. Lift your heart. All right, so from here, you can watch me first. You're gonna cross your ankles, rock forward, and step your feet back into plank. You can either go straight back to down dog or you can move through a vinyasa, completely up to you. We'll meet back in downward facing dog. All right, inhale, take your left leg to the sky. Exhale, open your left hip, bend your left knee. You can stay here or you're welcome to flip your dog if it's in your practice. If you're holding here, just be here and breathe. Use each breath to create a little more opening, a little more space. If you're taking the back bend, give yourself one more round and then come back to your three-legged dog. Everybody inhale, left leg straight, strong, powerful, lengthen. Exhale, pigeon, left shin, top of your mat. Left knee to the outer left edge of your mat. Pull your left hip back, your right hip forward. So hug towards midline, find that little bit of lower abdominal engagement. So transverse abdominus. And then start your bow forward in your own time. Breathe. Maybe visualize your minds in your mind's eye. So as if you have a mind on the inside, visualize your breath as a bright white light and it's just flowing through you. Each time you inhale, it moves all the way down into your left hip. And each time you exhale, it washes over you, maybe flows out the crown of your head. So visualization can be really powerful. So try explore using them, just see what happens. We've got about four or five more slow, steady, deep breaths. If you want, last couple exhales, sigh them out your mouth. And slowly start to lift your upper body. Ease your way over onto your left butt cheek. Swing your right leg around. 
Keep your left knee bent, sole of your left foot to your right inner thigh, right leg extended forward. This is called Janu Shirsasana. So right toes face straight up, right toes flex back, square your hips towards your extended leg. Maybe at first, just bring your fingertips back behind you and use your, your arms as a lever to press your chest forward and up. This can be where you stay. Otherwise, arms reach up, inhale, lead with your heart, exhale, dive forward, 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 and then down. Try to square your chest towards the ground, hands, whatever works best for you. Keep pressing your foot into your leg and your leg back into your foot. Every time you exhale, draw your belly button back towards your spine. Reach your butt back. Lengthen through your lower spine. See if you can dive a little deeper. Fold a little further. Give yourself about three more rounds. End of your next exhale, rise back up, reach your arms up, breathe in, and exhale, left hand comes down behind you, fingers face away from your body, press your left hand down, lift your hips, reach your right arm back, maybe even turn your heart towards the sky like a modified wild thing, breathe, one more round here. And then end of your exhale, bring your sit bones to the ground, take both legs out in front of you, give them a little shake out. And then make sure you have plenty of space behind you. Legs extend forward, arms extend forward, hollow out your belly, and very slowly, try not to lift your legs, lower yourself all the way down onto your back. Once you're there, full body stretch, so arms reach long, legs reach long, pull yourself apart. Big huge inhale to lengthen. Exhale, hug your knees in towards your belly, rock side to side. And then from here, eventually let both of your knees fall to the right side, left arm reaches out to the left, gaze up or over your left shoulder, supine spinal twist. Breathe down into your belly. And then your next breath or two, just switch to the other side. So as you come through center, give your knees a big squeeze and then let your knees fall to the left. bring it back to center find a happy baby pose to finish off our practice so soles of your feet face the sky 
Grab your feet, grab your ankles, grab the backs of your thighs, whatever works best, maybe a little rock from side to side. And then if there are any more poses or stretches or movements that you would like to take to complete your own practice for your own self, take some time to just move through those last stretches and eventually settle in to your final relaxation. So, I'm going to read you a little passage by one of my favorite authors. His name is Young Pueblo. Um, and then I will just leave you to rest in your Shavasana. So as you're ready, you just let your breath become effortless and let yourself just settle in. This reading says, they asked her, why are we here at a time when there is so much misery and despair? She responded, Because you answered the call. The earth signaled for heroes and the heavens sent forth the ones who were most ready to grow and unleash their unconditional love. You are here to shine the light of your own healing, to offer the world the gift of your balance and your peace. So even in these times where everything seems so crazy and sad and chaotic, you are here just to shine your light, to do your own work, and to heal the world by healing yourself from the inside out. So stepping onto your mat is just one little tiny thing we can do to do our own work. So thank you guys so much for joining me. Thank you for showing up, taking time out of your day to slow down, to tune in, to find a connection to a deeper part of yourself. And I will leave you here just to rest for as long as you can. Hopefully you have at least a few minutes. So just allow yourself to relax and to soak in all the efforts, all the energy of our practice today. Thank you guys. Love you. Namaste.